Okay, so I'm going to try to upgrade my Hyperflex cluster, uh, which is um, a four node cluster here. So let's take a look at the dashboard. I have a four node cluster. Um, everything looks healthy. There's a bunch of VMs, uh, 34 VMs up and running. And the version of HX um, on this right now is 3.5. 1a I believe right here 351a we will try and go up to upgrade it to 352a so what I did was um, I downloaded let me tell you which packages I downloaded the 401c um, infrastructure bundle but uh, I, I downloaded the one for my my particular interconnect 6300 and if you have a 6200, you have to download this. And if it's 6400, then of course you got to download that. And then, if, then in addition to that, I downloaded the C series um, bundle as well. Um, I don't have any blades, so no, I did not download the B series bundle. And then I did the upgrade uh, bundle. I downloaded this one right here. So this is a 352A upgrade from previous release, uh, about one point. Um, 8 terabytes. So these are the three files I downloaded. Once I did that, I went ahead and on the interconnects, I you know, click on if I go to equipment and uh, click on firmware. <clears throat> um, under firmware management, uh, I was able to update the firmware. All I did was hit download firmware and I chose the two individual files that I downloaded in you know, 401. Uh, C for the infrastructure and also for the C series and I uploaded once I you know, uploaded to the fabric interconnect then I just did the firmware auto install I went there here to auto install and hit install infrastructure firmware uh, it gave me the option of picking the right firmware so this is the steps I did and I picked 401 C here um, it was on 401 B I upgrade so I did that I ended up upgrade now and and uh, took about half an hour uh, I did a systematic upgrade first of UCS manager then it went ahead and upgraded the interconnects to that uh, updated version so that's what I've done so far now the next step obviously is connecting to hyperflex HX connect and then running an upgrade here so I'm gonna click on upgrade I'm gonna punch in my UCS um, Fabric interconnect, and I'm gonna see if I can hit discover. It will see if I can connect to the fabric interconnect. Make sure that I have the right password. Yep. So here, once it does it, it will tell me that the current version of the M5 um, nodes are 401B. I want them to be on 401C. HX data platform, and it's on 351A, and I need to be on 35. 2a so here's the file I downloaded 352a uh, the 1.8 terabyte file that I was showing you earlier drag it put it over here upload it and I'm not going to be upgrading my ESXi uh, so I'll leave it there and here's my uh, and I'm going to put in my password for vCenter so the file is uploaded and it'll tell you that this is the starting 1A and this is where I'm going. All right. Now let's see if I can type in this. All right. We have it right. Administrator at vSphere.local. Perfect. And uh, password. All righty. I wonder if there's a checkbox where I can, can validate connection maybe not all right hit upgrade let's see what happens pre-upgrade process will be performed on all nodes once complete the refresh UI will appear so this is a good point so there's a couple of things that we should be doing before we get before we do all this right we want to make sure that there is some so if you, if you go to the software download page and then if you click on release notes of 35 uh, I would highly recommend reading through this, you know, word by word. Um, when you click on, and especially if you're doing an upgrade, so let's see if I have a 
direct link mixed upgrade guidelines so I would click there and then I, I will read through there are so many limitations that you think about for example vCenter has to be on 60U3F or above um, so if you are on you know something pro, uh, you know underneath this below this then that's an issue you also have other dependencies that you had to you know depending upon uh, M4 and M5 so you have make sure you read through this in its entirety one other thing there's also this advisory that you need to keep in keep in mind uh, there's an issue with the SXI 6 so and uh, make sure you do that second thing that you want to think about is right here the bootstrap uh, so make sure we, we you know we're doing every single step uh, properly uh, otherwise the upgrade might fail one of the things that you could also do let's see if I can get a putty here but even though and then I'm gonna SSH into the uh, the controller so the one Fingered it. Um, let's see. Do admin password. All right. So this is my controller VM. Node list grep, uh, and I'm going to look for uh, product version. Alrighty, so I just want to make sure that we are on, all the nodes are on the same version. Uh, and if I don't do the grep, you will see what the thing is that. So this is a little more, uh, so this is what you really want to look for. And then you're looking for um, instances of the product version through this entire uh, um, uh, output. But the other quicker way is just, you know, just grab it. You know, you're looking exactly for product version B is capital here, and then anyway, same thing here. So all my notes are the same version. So that's one thing that is definitely something you want to check. That's pretty much it for me. I mean, I'll just hit confirm and uh, see what happens. I'll let this rip. Uh, this might take some time. Uh, technically, what it's supposed to do is uh, it will evacuate one node at a time. Um, and then uh, you know manage the upgrade one one by one every single node will be upgraded one at a time so that's the, the actual upgrade process so there was a pre-configuration step all right okay so I just can I just type in the password no <laughs> administrator at vsphere.local Okay. Oh, do I? Why didn't? I don't want to. I don't want to upgrade the SXI. Okay, I do not understand why. Do I have to type in all this again to complete the upgrade? Okay, I guess. Jeez. Okay, so this is um, what is it? Ten ninety one thirty six seventy. Admin. Uh, let's see. I just want to validate one more time, just to make sure the password is correct. Uh, okay. Now let's do. It. Let's pick this. This is already the right one. Um, Word. I think it's correct. Let's just hit upgrade. Okay, now, so that was pre check process. I guess now it's going to do an actual upgrade. Interesting. This is two step process. So what I was trying to do was there's there is a way you can tail stuff. So if you log into if you can SSH into your every console and do it to the controllers, you can actually tail multiple uh, files here. So if you do tail dash f and a var log, um, and you'll see a bunch of files, you can see what's going on. Um, in any case, so now we are doing an upgrade here. And I have a warning here. What is the warning? 
That's true. Access poly compliant. Yeah, that's exactly what I saw on vCenter as well. Excuse me. Oh. oh, it's looking for the B version. Can you believe that? It wants a B package, although I don't need the B package. Oh boy. All right. So, okay. I'll download B. B. Interesting. I did not think that would be necessary. But uh, I guess the cluster doesn't know if you have. I mean, I don't know. Technically, in my mind, it should it should know that I don't have any uh, compute only nodes, and I don't need the B bundle. But uh, I guess that's what it was complaining about, right? Let me just read that one more time. 401 UCS bundle for I think it's B bundle. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Right, let me just quickly upload it and see what happens. It takes a couple of minutes, um, maybe more than a couple of minutes. It's coming down fast. All right, package is ready. Let's go to. Um, download firmware and then I will select uh, the last missing piece here which is the B bundle so here's the bundle that I just downloaded open OK and uh, we'll wait for it to get uploaded so so one thing to keep in mind is that the infrastructure um, software that, so UCS manager along with the firmware for the interconnects and if you have blades of course IO modules does not get upgraded by the Hyperflex Connect software. The only thing that will upgrade is this M5 version or the blade server firmware or the or the, or the rack mount server uh, firmware only. It does not upgrade the infrastructure. So you had to manually upgrade the infrastructure and also obviously upload these files. So now I have this all done. Let's go back. And uh, do I do need to do this again? I guess I do. Discover. I'll select. Select. Hey, change it all to 401 Charlie. All right. 401B to 401C. Upgrade my UCS manager. Upgrade this. And upgrade this. I wish I had the right names here. I mean, my DNS is all messed up, and it's obviously it's a lab, so we don't we don't really put host names and resolve through DNS. Uh, right. Let's see. And this storage node upgrade might take some time. Uh, I know during manual upgrade it does take some time, but since it's new automated upgrade process, I don't know how how effective this is. And I didn't have a huge jump. I'm just jumping from 351A. To 352A.
it's pretty much done. As you can see, it, it, it did take a while though. I'll tell you how much time it took at the end. It's uh, so as it's 10:38 p.m. Um, it was a very gradual, step-by-step -step process. But yes, the last machine is coming up. What it is is just saying that cluster is taken off of maintenance mode. And then it's going to do a couple of post upgrade jobs here. Alright, there it is. All four nodes are back on. I'll also show you one more thing I want to highlight. So, you, you know, be patient, you will get these kind of errors. Is basically the script trying to restart the controller VM, um, and, you know, but just ignore it. It will eventually come up. I've seen it a few times here, um, but the controller VM does take a little bit of time before it comes back on. All right, so let's wait and uh, let's wait and see how much more time does it need for it to finish up. Everything looks healthy, and the warnings and errors in UCS. Um, the firmware should be all updated here. So if I click on install firmware and I open this up, policy itself 401c, startup version, running version 401c, and what are the relative versions are for that particular firmware. All right, finally, it has been upgraded. <clears throat> okay, now, if I go to dashboard, what does it look like? Okay, all the VMs are up and running. Um, everything is healthy. Click on system information. is properly up and running. Current version is 352A31601. Okay. Done deal. If I go back. That's interesting that it uh, hasn't rebalanced. Uh, I guess that's something I'm going to do manually. Anyway, so there you have it, folks. Uh, Hyperflex upgraded. Um, seamlessly with no issues uh, from a previous version to 352A and again the previous version was 351 just uh, to be clear <clears throat>